Well, good afternoon to the fans of the occasional weird project. I've decided I'm building a dirt conveyor so I can pull sandy dirt out of my basement. My furnace currently is horizontal and I want enough headroom to have it vertical. So I'm going to make this beastie and I'm going to stuff it through a window, get under there, throw dirt on it, and then this will carry the dirt outside to my trailer. Stand by. So the runners are 18 feet long. It's just two by six. On top of the runners, I have a cleat, which is inch and three eighths by inch and three eighths. This is glued and screwed together. And these are going to support this piece of half inch melamine. Um, this, I picked this instead of rollers because it has such a slippery surface and I'm hoping the belt will run freely on it. And also it seemed a great way to add some serious rigidity to this as a unit and make it more like a box than two floppy things hanging out. So this is my belt material. They're not very ag aggressive cleats, but I'm only dealing with sandy stuff. It probably would still take rocks up, but it might tumble. It won't be very steep though. So this zipper goes on the end. Um, a local guy that works with this stuff had a couple of pieces of this left over and he cooked them together. So there's a zipper on each end and then there's a pin that goes through all of it to make it a loop. Once I've got it into a loop, I will have to establish how far down there it goes by pulling it tight to figure out where my end roller goes, and I'm guessing I will need some adjustment also. Um, as far as the mechanicals go, this is as far as I've got. This drum consists of three inch PVC pipe couplers, two of those, and then a, a sliver cut from one in order to give this the correct width. My belt material is 11 and a quarter, so I've made this 11 and a half. And uh, I've only given it that much clearance also. It's like a quarter inch total as the belt slips up here and I'm hoping that's enough. So this is a socket that goes inside the pipe coupler. This is three inch down to inch and a half. And then inside that I have a, another socket reducer which goes inch and a half down to inch. So this shaft is inch and the inside of one inch pipe is inch. So I'm gonna put a bigger piece than this here, but what I'm planning on doing is screwing a piece of this inch pipe and tapping this pipe and screwing them together. And then I will glue and slide this barrel onto it. So it's glued to that, which is screwed to that. And then the other end, I probably will just drill through and tap the shaft and put a big old countersunk head and just crank on it and hopefully it stays. These wheels are easily available on Amazon. These ones are swamp cooler wheels. I bought, I think I bought a 12 inch and a 14 inch to get the proper reduction. I did not calculate a damn thing. Um, and this, this little one is just gonna be the feed from the, there's gonna be a big wheel onto a little wheel on the same shaft to this big wheel and that ought to be enough reduction. This apparatus is going to sit on this face so the belt comes out and around and under. These are pillow block bearings, uh, one inch, and they are available on Amazon. And they're kind of cool because they come with little set screws. So this shaft is going to be captive. You don't need anything to stop it from moving. It will be locked in place. So that is as far as I've got. I will keep you all updated. 